What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a new VST that just dropped. It's a very sci-fi-esque, you could almost say Dune looking plugin. I'm excited to dive into it and with that said, let's check it out. So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris here. So today we're going to be taking a look at Polyscape Nova by Karani Sounds. It's a beautiful looking plugin just to start off. I really like the GUI of this. There's quite a few things to look into here. So I'm going to try cover everything as best as possible and we'll get some sounds out of it at the same time. So let's check it out. Just heard the sound coming out of this we're starting with analog all natural this is the preset name so what's going on here so i've got four different sounds that we can work with they all have their own independent controls sends to effects and stuff like that and then you have this morph section which allows you to morph between a b or c and d i'll start in the middle and i'll show you what the two different sounds can be like so this is the full fat sound or we can morph to a and b can morph to C and D and anywhere in between. Right? Makes sense. As well as at the bottom, we've basically got our mixer section for all of these sounds. So if you've got this morph in the center as it is now, I can go in and I can either have more or less of one or the other sounds. So I can pull these out if I didn't want them. And now we've only got C and D. Or if I wanted just D and B. Gonna have to excuse the mic covering the keyboard, but I'll try make it work. Okay, so we've got this preset 70s. very spooky and sci-fi. I'm just gonna dive through what all the controls are. So as you can see, at the bottom we've got our mixer section. Underneath the mixer section, each part, A, B, C, D, has a delay and a lusher. Lusher is oh, basically like a reverb that they've got set up. If you go on the device effects, you can see this whole section is dedicated to lusher. So it's sending to a lot of what's going on here. So we've got a combination of coloring, filtering, some octave stuff, reverb. There's plenty that's going on behind the scenes here. And so you can send all of these parts independently to that. Then at the bottom of that, we've got a sub that basically works independently. So if I take all of these out, bam, bam, bam. Now we just have the sub. We have this one as well. So two different flavors of sub, which we can then send to drive and motion. Really nice. And so I'm just going to set this back to the original preset and let's check out how the different parts work. They all share the same menu. Obviously the controls would be different per part in this case, but I'm just going to work on one part for now. Just work on part A. Sounds like this. And as you can see here, we can pick our sounds. There's a couple of sounds that we can pick from is quite nice and you also have the gain for that sound how loud you want it to be from default so working through the plugin you can see we've got our pan control here leave that in the middle for now then you have your amp envelope and if i turn on this it will give us access to our filter control adsr you can see that changes there as well as how much you want it to affect of the filter so say i just wanted to add some attack to this sound i could turn that up You've got your access right there, which is quite nice. We can also change the octave. Since you're working with four sounds, there's the likelihood that you might want different sounds to sit in a different range. So here I can just quickly pick which octave I want them to live in, as well as the tune. We also get access to some wow, if we want them to just slightly modulate. Okay, 
add a little bit of movement through there as well as a tone just to sculpt the sound make it a bit darker make it a bit brighter quick access to all of these controls since you're working in four parts it is quite convenient that they've got them all with some pretty straightforward controls you're not going to be menu diving too heavily to try get access to different controls that you need it's all clearly laid per page so moving on from there we've come to the filter section where here we get our main filter as well as our resonance Right, and we can also pick what type of filter we're using, whether it's a band pass, high pass, low pass, got all that there. And right after that, you've got the LFO modulator, which I quite like. If we add it in, moving and right now it's synced to the bpm of my project which is 120 but i could leave that off just have it free flowing and i can also change the wave of this right now it's on square but i can change it to be random which i quite like i do love a bit of random modulation can keep it as a sine wave you can hear it's just slowly opening and closing that filter just adding again a little bit more movement to our sound so after that we come to the effects section you can see we have pretty much five effects we can use let's just give a quick listen to what they sound like transforming this standard sound quite a bit using just these effects which is really nice and then lastly underneath that you can see we've got some control here for the effects above so in this case you can hear that phaser change the speed we have some high pass and low pass for those and again we're just working with one of the four parts here so you can see we've got a lot of access to all the different sounds let's pick a different preset and we'll check out the device effects and the master this one's called strings attached i quite like this one really lush really nice Diving through these device effects, as you can see, starting on the left, we've got our delay. If I go into one of the parts, what are we using right now? We're mainly using the stringer, string machine, and another stringer. So I'm gonna go into one of these. I'm gonna add a bit of delay. Maybe I'll go into C as well. So we can hear that delay playing. I can go in here, change the time of that as well as the stereo, I can make it mono, or I can make it wide. As well as the feedback, how long I want it to repeat for. It's 
So I get access to all those delay controls there. Next, we have the controls for Lusher. This knob that you'll find on all of the different parts. So there's a lot going on here. So just to break it down into sections, we've got here a filter for this Lusher sound. Right, so that can open and close this effect we're using. And that is all labeled under this color section. Next, we move over to the texture side. Now here we've got a couple different things going on. It's kind of like this granular sound. I'm gonna pull off all the delay just so we're hearing what Lusher is adding. Boom. So you can hear that kind of twinkly sound afterwards. And I can change this. Then we can play with the density a bit. We've got two controls in one here. So you can add this really interesting texture overall to the sound, as well as if it's too much, you can pull it back with the mix. And that's what you've got in that texture section. And then lastly, we've got a reverb, which has our size and feedback all together in here. Nice big reverb, as well as speed, depth, diffusion, and damping. You can hear with the diffusion down, it becomes more like almost a delay. But then as we bring up the diffusion, it spreads out, becomes a lot more blended in together. And when we pull back on the damping, it just becomes a lot more open, whereas if we pull it back, it closes off. Really nice, some great textures coming out of this. Lovely sound. And then lastly, if we go into the master section, there's some really interesting controls that I like in here. The main one being this whole smart random section. So I can go in and I can either randomly change the texture, the reverb, the delay settings just by clicking on these buttons and pressing them a few times, going back into here and they will change. So say I want to change that reverb and the delay and the texture, I can just click them a couple of times and they'll be slightly different, which is great. But on top of that, you can also randomly change the ADSR. So now it's slightly different. You know, and that gives you a whole different sense of what the sound is doing in general. As well, you can go in and just change the sounds. And I quite like these random options because if you're in a little bit of a rut and you need something to give you a little bit of inspiration, just click on these randoms a few times and just see what happens. If you want to just change all of them, there's just an all button right there. You can just click on that a few times, see what you get. Really sick. The last pieces to mention in this master are that we have a general filter and EQ tone control basically, as well as a glue compressor just to make your sound a bit more in your face, just a bit more lively. You can filter it off or open it up. Or we can use this EQ just to add a little shelf either to the low end or to the top end. Say it's too bright. I filter that down. And then the very last thing is at the bottom we have this velocity and expression control. I look at expression as kind of like an overall master volume that you can probably map to your mod wheel, you know, and just have that general control. And then velocity being at full, you get velocity control. Whereas if you pull that back, no matter how hard or soft you play, it will always be at the same level. So this is just a general velocity control if you want to have more access to that or less. And then lastly, we've also got just our master volume on the top. 
as well as a very deep browser library for your presets, which is really good. And there you have it guys, Polyscape Nova, really awesome multi timbral synth. This isn't a sponsored video, but they did send me the plugin to try out and I rather enjoyed it. So hence why I'm making a video about it. If you enjoyed it, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out. And that's that, Polyscape Nova. If you enjoyed this, let us know in the comment section below what you thought about the plugin. I'd love to hear your feedback. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. The support really helps. Thank you to everyone who's done so already. And once again, I've been Chris Vella. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.